Different subject. I'm going to talk a little bit about website agreements, um, terms of service. These are sort of like mystifying, I think, to a lot of people because you like click on this website and you sign up and it says I agree and you click I agree and you like don't read it because like why would you read it? It's 100 pages long and it doesn't make any sense. Um, so why do companies keep including them? Well, it turns out even if you don't read it, once you click agree, you're bound to it. So you, you really should read it uh, or at least have an idea of, of what's in there. Um, there's some really, really crisis protection that can be in that. Um, first of all, it's the blueprint for how your services operate, how your, how your customers are able to actually use your services or your product, how they're able to buy from you, um, or, or whatever that transaction is in your application or on your website. And it really clearly lays out what are your responsibilities, what is the proposition, what are you offering to your customers, what's the promises that you're making, what's the promise that you're making to them, and then what are their duties back to you? Um, and a lot of times it'll include things like limitations on liability or indemnification clauses that make sure that if the customer does something that they shouldn't be doing, that they're gonna be responsible for the, the bad effects of that and not you. Or that, you're, that you can't uh, exceed a certain amount of liability to make sure that you don't go bankrupt because of, of one stupid customer. Um, it's really important to keep it up to date as the business changes. And if you're changing the way you're using, for example, personal information of your customers, if you start using uh, geolocation tagging, then you need to add that to your privacy policy because if you don't, then you can have lawsuits against you. So it's really important to keep in mind that anytime you make sort of technical changes, if you're adding new features that change the way you use information, gather information, or interact with your users, that you update those. Um, finally, if you're operating globally, you really need to consider jurisdictional issues. There's things like um, you know, ex export laws or the Foreign uh, Practices Act. Sometimes we'll include clauses in there just to protect um, against different things that can happen when you're doing business in, uh, in jurisdictions outside the US.